The last thing I want to do here is take a look at how we can publish the information in this current issue of documents. You'll see here I've created a, another page that has just the site plan and this has no revision history because it doesn't contain any changes. One of the useful things I can do is another new feature is, as part of this whole change management revision management is within the navigator I can change the view to be tree by subset, tree by master, these have been here since way back in the old plot maker days, but there is this new option which is tree by current issue and you'll see I have site plan, I also have a blank and a details page at the bottom here so I've got nine pages as part of each one of these phases here but if we go by tree by current issue what that does is show only the pages that have changes as part of this revision phase. I can then switch out to the organizer. The organizer also has a similar option to set the tree view by the current issue. One little note to be careful of, if you just drag and drop this entire subset, which is something that personally I'm in the habit of doing, that does actually take the entire subset. So I can see green are the current phase, the black ones are unchanged. I don't actually want to include them, so what I can do is just pick them up and delete them. The alternative way to do it is if I just create another folder, manually create the folder, and then just drag and drop the layouts that I want rather than the whole set. So I'll take them across, make that a PDF, we'll make that one a PDF, and I can publish these now, safe in the knowledge that what comes out within these PDF documents is the very latest up-to-date most current revision phase that's available. So I'll hit the publish button and then we'll take a look at the end result. So now that's finished processing, I've got my two PDF files. If we open them up, we can now see the revision history object as part of a title sheet in its full glorious Technicolor. If I scroll through, this page here doesn't have the watermark so it's, it's not quite as painful. If we zoom in, you can then see the information. You can also see the date when the, the first issue was set out. Once we close this issue off, then this will be dated and we can progress down through the various issues throughout the rest of the project and manage it for the remainder of the project lifecycle.